Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Pohala, another one from them and this is courtesy of Beer Month Club. So if you're interested in subscribing to get some awesome beers, click on the link below. So this is their OOXO, or at least that's how I think it's pronounced. This beer comes in at 11.5%. It is an Imperial Baltic Porter Asian Cognac Barrel. So uh, let's dig into this one. Yeah, pretty dark stuff. Very dark beer. The beer's an old oily black, really dark black head on there. Let's get the room on this one. That is sweet, big, rich. On the nose, it immediately reminds me a little bit of Even More Jesus. It just has that combination of sweetness, but also this dense richness of um, like rich, rich, dark chocolates, a little bit of roast coffee kind of thing going on, a little bit of that umami. As for them, they say it has this oiliness and richness to it. Um, it has huge aromatics of cocoa caramel, dense chocolate, and then dense uh, dried fruits, cocoa, and uh, integrated roastiness, uh, courtesy of the uh, cognac barrel. Not quite sh uh, toastiness, sorry, toastiness. Yeah, just sweet, big, imperial Baltic porter. Just <laughs> tons of bigness in there. Cheers. <laughs> so, huh. okay. On the palate, <laughs> this is a huge beer. This beer uh, rides sweet up front. There's a density of kind of, uh, sorry, richness of just caramel that sort of just drives and drives and drives. Uh, that falls, uh, that hits up front. There's a little bit of that dried fruit in there. But the back end, I really like there's a balance here. Uh, not only is this beer sweet, but then it also rides with a lot of rich chocolate flavors in the back end. You think of something like um, a cocoa powder and that dusting of chocolate that you might get on dessert or just some of those Carvel ice cream cake crunchies. But then on the back end, you're also getting this nice kind of like light smoke character. Uh, very whispery, probably no smoke in here, but maybe contri uh, contribution from the barrel or something or the, just the malts that they're using, a little bit of um, acrid qualities and just light hint of smoke. Again, it reminds me a little bit of Founders Imperial. It's really nice because it helps balance out how this stickingly sweet this beer could be because some of the other two pojadas that I have, have had are quite sweet. So. As for their tasting notes from uh, Beer Mom Club, they're saying it's soft edge, highly generous with uh, chocolates and rose, agreed. Uh, dense melange of fig dates, dried cherries, sort of see that. Uh, immensity of caramelized sugar, yeah, the sweetness is definitely uh, shining through. Carbonation is light, um, perfect mouthfeel, warming effects of the ABV and cognac barrel. I will say the cognac barrel is sort of uh, desired to be found. Maybe getting a little bit of that richness, the sweetness, and that emphasis of the dark fruits in the middle but this is not clear barrel-treated beer to me, uh, or barrel-aged um, porter slash stout. And yeah, it's absolutely delicious. And then they also recommend uh, pairing this with uh, roasted pork. Cause you can certainly see that. I can also see this substituting like a, uh, uh, like a, like a sweet port uh, for uh, dessert. So, or just a finishing kind of a last sip for after your dessert and just like finish off the meal, have a few ounces of this. But as for rating, this might be the best one in the bunch. This one has a beautiful execution of bal balance. It has sweetness to it. It is decadent. Um, I can't argue that, but there is at least some kind of uh, roast and smokiness and something to help bitter out the beer on the back end. Uh, beautiful aromatics on this one, just like really, really well executed, big, big beer. Um, battle character is, you know, to be desired, but I think that doesn't really matter. Whatever it's contributing to the flavor profile is great here. It's not very obvious. Hit your head um, with like, you know, big vanilla char bourbon notes of barrel age, uh, bourbon barrel age imperial stout, so something like that. Uh, this beer for me is getting a 96. Absolutely delicious. If you're interested in beers like this, click on the link below to subscribe. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.